What's good, y'all? We back at it with another one. This one is on a positive tip. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just switch it up for this one because I feel like these girls need to be getting more coverage. The Oklahoma Sooners, they just won the College Women's World Series. You know what I'm saying? They faced off against a gang of great teams. But in the World Series, it was number one Texas Lady Longhorns versus the number two Oklahoma Sooners, the defending back-to-back-to-back champion Oklahoma Sooners. And it did not disappoint. I mean, game two, it was up. Sooners were up 1-0. I mean, the College World Series is in Oklahoma, so it's already the home field advantage for them, really. But the Texas Longhorn fans was out there deep, too. And these were two of the best. I mean, the best, number one and two. But, you know, the Sooners, they went on to win. You know what I mean? They came out. And they did their thing. It was a back and forth game, but they won the best of three series. Two games to none against the number one Texas Lady Longhorns. That's not to be overlooked. The number one Texas Lady Longhorns, a great softball team. This season was great. The Super Regionals were great. It was great teams this year. You had UCLA. You had Oklahoma State. You had Stanford with Nigeri Kennedy. She was the nation national player of the year. She led the nation in strikeouts. I mean, they could have easily have been in this World Series matchup, but all these games came down to the wire. It was only a few, you know, eight-run uh, rule uh, games, but for the most part, it was very competitive, you know. And this last game, they capped the season off great. Oklahoma did their thing. They hit homers. They had they had great pitching. They had great hitting. They they were down. They came back. They were down. They came back. Texas fought valiantly. I mean, this team is amazing. You could just see these girls. They do their thing out there, you know. And four times in a row, whatever sport it is, whatever league, that's got to be hard to do. So we got to give them their props. I think everybody needs to know more about women's softball is fire. Like, it's my top two sport now, next to football. It's more exciting to me than men's baseball. I mean, these games are fast. It's a lot of highlights. You, you you turn your head, you'll miss a run or two or something. You know, you got to stay glued to the, to the action or you'll miss something. But Oklahoma, they did their thing. You know, that's my girl right there. That's my favorite player. Miss Riley Boone, she's she's electric out there. I think she had, you know, I think she must have had about three for three or four for four. She didn't get her out, you know what I'm saying? But Oklahoma has a great team, you know what I'm saying? Sydney Sanders, Cassidy Pickering, Carly Keeney, Kenzie Hansen. I mean, they got a bunch of them. Tierra Jennings, Alyssa Brito. We can't forget the World Series MVP pitcher, Kelly, Kelly Maxwell. Sorry, Kelly Maxwell. She was the College World Series softball MVP, man. She she came in and she shut them down, like, when they needed her most. You know, Texas, they made a couple little errors down the stretch, which probably could have changed the complexion of the game. But still, great game play. Oklahoma did what they needed to do to pull it out. You know what I mean? My girls did their thing. They they need to be celebrated. So I wanted to do a special video on my channel. You know, we don't cover sports, but we're going to cover the Oklahoma Sooners and we're going to cover the Texas Lady Longhorns, okay? Like like I said, Riley Boone, she's my favorite on Oklahoma. But I think on um, Texas, they got a great team, you know. They they I wish they could have pulled out a game and made it a best of three to full three games because I want more baseball. I mean softball. I want more women's softball. Look at these beautiful women. This is like my favorite player on Texas, Mia Scott. I mean, drop dead gorgeous and a great athlete. Like, why wouldn't you not watch? You know what I'm saying? If these girls, Texas has to have one of the most beautiful teams I've ever seen. Like, if these girls are making a softball, they definitely can be actresses, models, something. These girls are stunning. And they're in great shape. I love this team. The Texas Lady Longhorns, we're going to be looking back for y'all next year to challenge. This was like the Red River rivalry. I think y'all started something like the football teams, Oklahoma and Texas. The Red River battle, man, that's what this was. It went back and forth. You couldn't ask for nothing more from a championship game. 
maybe just if Texas could have won. But Oklahoma, they always find a way to win. In four years, I think they have four losses. I think they had a streak of like 20 straight game playoff games. I don't know. I didn't look that stat up. But there goes Riley. She's a beast. This pitcher is amazing for Texas. But, I mean, the bats for Oklahoma were just strong down the stretch. They were not taking no for an answer. These girls, one thing about Oklahoma, their coach has them so poised that they are so willing to win. They do what it takes. They're not taking no for an answer. You got to play all seven innings and sometimes more to beat these girls. Like, they play great. And I feel like they deserve the championship. I feel like they deserve all the accolades they can get. I feel like people need to tune into this softball more. They need a soft. They need a major softball league for these women. These girls, I, I will watch it. And I think more people need to watch it. If you watch my channel, hey, check out women's college softball. They need to start making it be able to bet on it. I tried to bet on this game, and I couldn't do it. But look at these girls, man. This game, these are the highlights here. I mean, this game. This, this video could be super long. Look at all these hits. Look at all this action. You know what I mean? Look at all this. It came down to the wire. These girls were... This is where Mia Scott messed up. She got caught off the base. And I think this would really change the complexion of this game. Look at the disappointment in their dugout. Mia knows she messed up. But, hey, you can't have it all, you know? But we needed her right there. Just made a bonehead play off the bag. They caught her slipping. Hey got off the field that just killed the rally and then from there the girls were back their bats came back alive look at riley she wants it she's gonna taste it i mean imagine being a senior at oklahoma in 20 now and you were there since you won the world series championship all four years like there no one could ever take that from you no one will ever be able to say they've done that you guys have done something that no team has ever done like, look at the stands. Look how many people are there for a softball game. Who said this game is not, you know, one of the best sports out there? I mean, what can more could you want? Two beautiful teams, athletic, entertaining. I mean, Texas got dropped dead gorgeous women. Oklahoma dropped dead gorgeous girls. Look at these girls, man. You have a just excellent team. Texas, don't feel bad. You guys are amazing. I mean, Caden Henry, Mia Scott, Alyssa Washington, Sophia Simpson, Viviana Martinez, Tegan Kavan, Bella Dayton. I mean, they Texas Lady Longhorns, they'll be back, man. Uh, Jolie Mitchell. I mean, they, they got a great team. But we'll be looking forward to y'all next year. But once again, congratulations to the Oklahoma Sooners.